seven, six, five, four, three, two. Guys, um, today I wanted to show you, since I don't feel like shit, I'm not dying or anything. Um, I wanted to show you how to make an ancestor candle or uh, a portal to hell is what I call them. I make them smaller, um, the small little pillars. These work great. Dollar General, a buck. But the candle company that they're using, um, Prayer Candle, candle Company, sucks right now. The wax is horrid. They go out constant. So I guess it's worth, worth the extra few bucks to go buy it at Martin's or somewhere, somewhere else. But first you have your plain light candle. Um, I use a piece of birch wood for my nails. You can always use letter opener. Use a tiny, tiny bit of patchouli oil inside because it smells like shit. I hate it. Rose oil. I always use rose oil in everything I do. I don't know why. I think it's a Luciferian thing. You're gonna need necromancy powder. And then you're gonna need regular grape dirt. So I've already done my candle, prepared it and everything. For your sigil, what I do, I use blood. You don't have to use blood at all. I'm an easy bleeder, so one little perk at the finger and boom, I have all I need. Um, any kind of symbols, runes, sigils, anything you want that connects you to your ancestors, the spiritual world, anything that you can think of. Get creative, close your eyes, start scribbling down messages. Use it for your candle. Um, I don't have my lighter. Or do I? No, I don't. And I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Yeah, I just burn the edges to make it look kind of old. And then I add some ribbon. Um, I like to add a little bit of black glitter at the top of it. Um, well, I might as well open it because it's going to dump. Just to give it... Yeah. See? Way too much black glitter. Not a good idea. Shit. Hopefully this candle works now. Yeah, it's, I mean, it works good, I think. It smells fucking amazing. Yeah, just, I mean, have fun. Have fun with it. Um, empower it your way, the way you do it. Um, I empower it in the Luciferian tradition, along with traditional witchcraft, European Cornish witchcraft. So please don't get those confused with the Wicca. I'm just kidding. But yeah, so just burn your edges of your paper. Um, activate your sigils. Pray to whoever, whatever god you worship. You have your ancestor veneration candle or um, your portal to hell. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully if you try it, let me know. Um, I also use my circle of, well, my triangle of art to uh, kind of give it that little extra oomph. Okay, I kind of wanted to show you guys how I put the candle together and make it all crafty and nifty looking, so. Burn your edges of your paper. Yes, it stinks. That's why I have a cauldron in front of me. Nothing. 
nothing like burning paper. And you can do this for so many different spirits or um, demons even, if you uh, work in the Goshia. Just give it that old feel. You can stain it with tea too. the finished sigil for that. Don't wear black. Um, all I own is black. You will have white ash all over yourself. I'm gonna try to see. Yeah, way too much glitter. And then what you do is you tape it down. Regular scotch tape. Does not take long whatsoever, unless you're uncoordinated like me today. And you feel like you want to die. Paper might break. Which it did, and now I'm kind of pissed off because I thought it was uh, pretty cute. And I will never use black glitter for a white candle ever again now. So yeah, just tape up your sides real good. And don't worry, the candle won't melt the tape when you're actually burning it but yeah don't get the cheap ones i mean dollar general is the best place for spiritual supplies on a budget like two bucks for 30 tea lights and if you're like me and you burn a ton why not i think for christmas i got 120 candles so yeah, I don't like candles at all, do I? But that's because I have pretty amazing parents that are very accepting of my lifestyle choice. Okay. Finished. Finished, finished, finished. Can you see it? There we go. I'm not used to being at this angle. Got a little bit of that black glitter out of there. You can see some of the dirt and oils and stuff inside. Works good. Really, really works good. I love this candle. I love the smell. Uh, go easy with the patchouli. It smells like uh, B.O. and hugs. Which, yeah, hugs are good. B.O. no. I'll show you a little shot of my setup here that I use. Since everything is... Whoa, hi. I'm very close to the camera, aren't I? So yeah, the cauldron. I burn my stuff in pretty big. And then there's my triangle of art with all of my ingredients. Old candle, throw away. Get rid of it. But yeah, that's it. Easy, simple. Thank you guys for watching. Comment below. Uh, subscribe, like, anything. Um, if you try it, let me know. Thank you for watching. But if you guys do try it, um, 
links below, comment, like, subscribe, let me know how it works for you, and thank you guys for watching, all my love, yeah it's getting really hot in here and I'm really tired of being on camera.